Hello, you guys. I don't know what I did that is causing me to have such a hard time in Australia, you guys. It's just been one non-stop problem after the other. Um, I had huge visa, visa issues. Uh, actually, my first visa I applied for ended up being denied. Then the second visa I applied for did get approved, but also not the way that I was hoping it would. And now, yesterday, my roommate told me that he wants me out of the apartment within two weeks. He gave several reasons. One was that at some point, I think like maybe a week ago or two weeks ago he was watching like some kind of podcast and they were saying all these things about um, the interview that Kamala Harris gave with Fox News and they completely lied about it. I actually watched the interview so I was like this is a lie. So yesterday he kind of was like, I felt like you were really aggressive with me when I was watching that podcast and, you know, I do think it's okay for people to have different political opinions, but it's just a little, that was one of the things he said, but I know for a fact that is, I think, <laughs> I don't think that was the real reason, so <laughs> that he's upset and kicking me out. The truth is that... I found this room through a website called Gay Share, which is like a gay people roommate website. And he actually contacted me. So you could like upload like pictures of yourself and what you were looking for. And he contacted me. And actually, during the interview process, it was very, very clear that he was kind of that he was attracted to me and that he was hoping that I would be not only a roommate but a roommate with benefits and I very clearly was like no I don't want that I'm not interested in that uh, to be completely honest I didn't think that I was interested in dating or anything at all period and I was honest with him I was like you know with my medical condition I'm not really, like, I'm just not that sexual of a person anymore. Um, at this point in my life, I definitely need to have a mental connection to even consider these kind of things. And, uh, and then when I first moved here, I literally, once again, when I moved here, I had to kind of basically be again like, yeah, so that's not something that's going to happen. <laughs> like, it's just not going to, you know. So I think the first thing is that he felt a little bit like he was being rejected, especially since then, within a week, um, I met the guy that I'm currently dating. And so I think he felt like doubly kind of insulted about it. Uh, first that I kind of was like, no with you, but then literally within a week, I actually met somebody that I really, really like. And started dating him so he kind of was like okay did you just lie to me and this is like a full-on rejection and then the other thing that really kind of I know I knew this was going to, I like in my last video I told you guys that he literally just has non-stop hookups coming to the apartment and things like that's already something things like I just want to be able to some days like come home from work or whatever I'm doing and I don't want the apartment to have some random stranger that I don't know in it because I want to be able to come home and I want to relax and I don't want to have to think about, you know, like, oh, now I have to be polite to some random person and it's uncomfortable and awkward and it just simply is. That I mean, like, everybody knows that it's kind of, it's just awkward when there's some random person you don't know, you know, hanging out in your apartment. And when this is happening literally like six, seven, eight times a week, you know, it's just uncomfortable. And not only because it's awkward in general, but also I'm like, this is a major city, you know? Like twice he brought guys over where literally I was like, this guy's high on drugs. You can tell this guy is totally tweaking. Um, 
he even admitted he was like I felt really uncomfortable with this guy because he wouldn't leave and he was like hi and he was on drugs and I'm like you know we are living in a major city all it takes is one person to be tweaked out on drugs and the next thing you know like he beats you up or he like steals something and it's like even if I'm not home I don't want some random strangers coming over and potentially stealing something of mine because we don't lock our rooms right so maybe like three weeks ago I actually kind of hinted at the fact that I was like hey you know would you be willing to reduce the amount of grinder grinder hookups you bring over to maybe three a week which trust me is a huge reduction literally today this morning 9 30 in the morning this guy called in sick the last two days and 9 30 this morning he had a guy come over and i'm just like this is like you know and yeah so the other reason he gave besides the whole like he felt uncomfortable i was very aggressive about my opinion about the kamala interview the other thing he gave was i was like i don't really feel comfortable in my own apartment um i feel like it's very stifling because now i don't know i don't feel i can bring people over and I'm like, you feel stifled because I'm asking you to minimize your grinder hookups to three times a week. Uh, yeah, and then like, I don't know, he has like lower back issues. And then, and the thing is like, fine, he's the one on the lease. It is his apartment. And yeah, of course, he has the right to be like, hey, I want to have three grinder hookups per day, not three grinder hookups per day. And if like, you feel uncomfortable with that, you have to leave. Of course, he has that right. I think the two things that pissed me off about it is that literally all the way up till yesterday he acted like everything was fine, no problems, smiles, joking around, we were even joking around about what we were going to do for Halloween and then all of a sudden yesterday, oh, for months I've been uncomfortable and yada yada yada. So the insincerity really upsets me. And the other thing is like then he made this really ridiculous excuse where he was like, well, you know, and my lower back is getting worse, like he has lower back problems. And, I'm, and he's like, so I can't really go to other people's places. And I'm like, you can, you on one weekend once had seven different guys over for like sex and all this kind of stuff. But going to their apartment, that is the issue for your back. That is what your back, like maybe maybe your back is giving out because you're literally bending over seven times a day. I mean, it's just, so yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I am honestly tell you guys, I have to say I'm really, I'm just really sad because this was my last stop in this chapter of my life and I so wanted it to be like a really amazing last stop so when this chapter of my life is done I can look back and be like man it ended on really it started really amazing it ended really amazing it was so cool and now I feel like the ending is so like wah, wah, wah. I don't know like the visa issues and finding the money issues and uh, now with my roommate. I mean, really the only thing positive that's come out of this at all is that I met someone. And, you know, as is normal with any relationship, it's there's also its ups and downs in that. Um, and it's been a very long time since I've dated someone, so I'm a little bit rusty as well in how to, you know, how to act, what I need to do to be a good boyfriend and all these kind of things. I'm just, I'm so tired, you guys. I'm so tired. Why does Australia hate me so bad? Is it because I'm, because I'm conservative and this country is ridiculously woke? Is that what it is? Is it their way of telling me we want you out? We only want over the top woke craziness here? Oh, by the way. Candace Owens is coming to Australia, and even though I don't actually agree with her on a lot of things anymore, um, I did buy a ticket to go see her talk. So maybe you guys, I'm gonna try to go up and, because I do have some questions I would ask her, I'm gonna see if I can get up and do that. So maybe I'll show up on TikTok or something as a person asking her a question. So I'm gonna do a little pushback. 
<laughs> oh, you guys. Please send me good karma and good thoughts. I really need it right now. Even if you hate me. Even if you hate my contact. Do it anyway. <laughs> Alright, hopefully you guys are doing well. Bye.